Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick update to my trapdoor guide in answer to Lemon Pie BS on how we could reset the trap back to its original location. I also think this is a much more usable setup for a trapdoor, so let's knock this out real quick and thanks again for that feedback. Also feel free to click here if you'd like to watch the first part to that build, so let's hop in. Alright, so basically we're going to go from this to this, and all we're really doing is just duplicating the second half of this graph, um, reversing this timeline and adding a boolean. And so the boolean isn't needed to make this work, it's just useful for later on if you want to add other events to your trap um, or to prevent overlapping from other objects or players or if you're um, replicating for online, it's just good to have it in. So we're just going to add another branch here and we're going to create our variable and it's going to be trap activated. And we're going to attach this to our branch and we're going to use false here instead of true because we're going to set it to false at the end um, and then we're just going to leave some space so from false here we're now going to set trap activated and now we're going to set it to true so it's originally false when you step on it and then it's going to set itself to true now that it's activated and then once you do your trap here we're going to control d duplicate this whole section here and then we're going to add from finished on our first timeline we're going to come down here and add another branch with our trap activated boolean again and this time it's going to trigger from true and then from true it's going to reverse from end so now our timeline is going to reverse itself to bring our trap back up and then right at the end here we're now going to set trap activated again and we're just going to leave this blank to set it to false that way when you step on it again it's going to replay your trap and now compile save go back to our level and you can see it works just as it should and it goes right back to normal and you can just keep running right over this and triggering it over and over so i hope that helped in uh giving you a more game ready obstacle or trap that you can use in your levels that's more than just a one-time use just a more finished system here this was just a quick fix so hope that helped anyone i will have more videos coming out soon so i'll see you guys next time